Hello there. LEDs are one of the fascinating electronic components. We usually use LEDs for decoration. LED cubes are such a three-dimensional decorative item. I have already built some LED cubes like 2x2, 4x4. Even I built a 4x4 RGB LED cube using Charlie Plexing method. These LED cubes are very interesting, but it took days to build a good-looking LED cube. Here, once again, I am going to make a 4x4 RGB LED cube. But this time I am going to use PCBs to build the cube that will magically reduce the time of baking. So let's see how to make this. Let's get started with this video. As always everything starts from a circuit so first I decided on the type of LEDs. I am going with this WS2812 NeoPixel LEDs because these LEDs are capable of delivering RGB color also we can control thousands of LEDs using a single input. This NeoPixel has 4 leads, 5V, ground, data in and data out. You can find more details about NeoPixel from this video. So this is the circuit. The circuit is pretty simple. We are making 4x4 matrices. Later we use 4 of these matrices and stack one over the other to make a 4x4x4 LED cube. So this is the 4x4 matrix, we are just connecting the D out of the first LED to the D in of the second LED and so on. After designing the circuit, I converted the design into a PCB and arranged the LED in a 4x4 matrix pattern and designed the PCB. I removed the most of the PCB part to get a better look. After finishing the design, our PCB looks something like this. Now I generated the Gerber files and went to JLC PCB for PCB fabrication. JLC PCB gives 5 PCBs for just $2 and their PCB assembly starts from $0. I uploaded the Gerber file and select the color and place the order. After 2 weeks I received the PCBs and the PCBs looks nice and the quality is superb. Next I grabbed the NeoPixel LEDs and placed them on the PCB using a tweezer. After placing the LED, I soldered the LED to the PCB using normal soldering iron. You can use a hot plate for this process. After finishing the soldering of the first LED, I repeated the process for the remaining LEDs. After soldering the matrix, I tested the matrix and worked without any problem. Similarly, I made 3 more layers. Now it's time to stack one over the other. For that, I am using 1mm thick copper wire. We need 4 of them. First I connected the 4 wires to the first layer. Then I inserted other layers through the copper wire and soldered the layers to the copper wire. After finishing all the layers, our cube looks like this. Now let's build the circuit. For that we need an Arduino Pro Mini, a lithium ion battery with a TP4056 charging module, a button switch and an on off switch. First I connected the battery to the TP4056, then I connected flexible wires to the switches. To enclose everything, I designed a base box using Tinker card and I 3D printed the design. After 3D printing, I inserted the switches into its socket and secured them with the hot glue. After that, I placed TP4056 and the battery. Now let's place the cube on the top of the base And finally, I placed the Arduino Pro Mini inside the enclosure. After placing everything inside the box, I started soldering. I connected all grounds together. VCC of Arduino and NeoPixel connected through a switch. I connected the data in pin to D9. You can find the detailed circuit diagram from the link given in the description. After finishing the soldering, I uploaded the code to Pro Mini through a USB to TTL converter. 
Finally, I printed a cap for base and closed it. So that's the end of the long build. Rest is testing. Now you can see the mesmerizing animation and color pattern. You can make your own patterns with your ideas. Now enjoy the show. So friends, this is how I made a LED cube using PCBs. Check the description for downloading the circuit code and STL file. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. It's all up to you. I will see you next time.